Hey, Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. And uh, I'm going to show you the best, most delicious chocolate bourbon pecan pie. And uh, my friend uh, uh, Denise and, and Gary Joyner, Denise brought me to, you know, it's, it's so beautiful when somebody shares a good recipe, you know. And, you know, the old days, you know, Aunt Lib, and she had, she was the best cook in the family. And she'd always leave out a, a couple of ingredients, but. Her favorites, my mom was one of them, you know, she'd give her the real deal. But anyway, I, I guess my aversion always been about baking and making pies. I hate making pe pie crust, I don't know, rolling it out. So you know what? And I start just buy the pie crust. And uh, I tell this to the customers and my daughter Lucy, she freaks out. But, so anyway, roll out the pie crust, lay it in your pan, okay? I'll get get the edges, and then uh, you know sometimes they crack a little bit. But here's 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 just what I do. Just crimp it a little bit, you know. So so Denise gave me this recipe. I tell you, uh, you know most pecan, pecan pies use that uh, uh, corn syrup. This is made you know either honey or. Uh, her, the recipe she gave me was with uh, maple maple syrup. So and actually, her recipe had three three eggs. It's a little looser. I like it a little tighter. You know, when we dish it out, maybe at home, uh, three eggs. You know, it's a little more runny, but I like it a little a little uh, stiffer. So anyway, so we put uh, some uh, nice. This is a uh, dark chocolate. This is not. You can uh, the, the original recipe called for. Uh, um, milk chocolate, but uh, here we'll do that. And I was using uh, oh, I was using pecan halves, and um, I found out that the pieces are cheaper, and it works. It works just as good, really. You know, actually better. I like pecan pieces better. Okay. So that's uh, so basically you could probably get two pies out of one. That's a lot. I mean, you don't even have to put that many. So in a skillet, two cups, two cups of brown sugar, okay, turn the fire on. Then about a half a cup of maple syrup. Okay. You know, like like an eighth of a stick of butter. Okay. Javi, grab me that uh, bullet. Mark, green leaf. Mark, green leaf? Yeah. Oh, good. I haven't seen Mark in a long time. Okay, so take, take it off the fire when you add the brandy. Yeah, as much or as little as you want to use of the brandy. Okay, bring this up to a slow simmer. Make sure everything's melted. See that brown sugar? It's got a little molasses in it. The color it gives it, it's beautiful. It's just well, always when you're doing anything with sugar though, be careful because it gets super hot and it splashes on you when it's super hot. It's gonna burn you because you can't wipe it off. Okay, so we're where we want it, right here. See where it's nice and hot. Now, her recipe said, uh, Denise said, let it cool for 10 minutes or so. 
I don't like to do that. It takes longer to set up in the, in the pie once you get in the oven. So I just add like anything when you add, work with egg, add a little bit at a time. You know, temper your egg yolks, your eggs, your whole eggs actually. So I got a little bit extra now, see? Also the, the table's uneven. Well look at that, right in the oven. See? There she goes, right in the oven. And uh, we're like right at about three. Said three fifty. I like three and a quarter. A little slower. And uh, Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. We'll be back. We'll be taking that the best pecan pie you ever had if you like chocolate, bar none. My main man, Danny. Jack, how are you? The transmission king. Everything looking good? Yeah. We are you just ready put, to cook? Yeah. We just put a uh, chocolate bourbon pecan pie in the oven. Oh, that's nice. And I got one. We're gonna show when it comes out, and then. Have a taste of it, but you've been on a diet. Yeah. Huh? So what's for dinner tonight? What do we have? Oh man, I just did a uh, recipe for pecan breaded catfish oh, with a with a with a uh, New Orleans uh, uh, tartar sauce. Very nice. Yeah. So I think I'll have a catch a early bird special, right? <laughs> All right, Daddy Jacks, we'll be back when that pie comes out. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you better believe my video. Daddy Jack's Cooper Blues, we're back. Let's pull that pie out. Woo! Look at her. See how it all set up? You let this cool, kind of refrigerate it. Let it cool and refrigerate. Let's all see how beautiful it's set up. We got a nice piece here. Hey, Morgan, are you kidding? Hey, what goes here, man? Hey, Virginia. Came back here for some good seafood. Come on back here. Aww. Come on back, Morgan. Oh, I see you on the internet all the time. Do you? <laughs> Look at this, you're about to be on it too. This is Morgan Strong. Yeah. You know, it's Mike's, it's Mike's uh, cousin, right? Right. Mike from uh, Charter? Yep. All right, so here's that pecan pie. We cut a slice, yeah. Sometimes it gets a little ugly, the crust falls off. Oh, oh man, whipped cream? I always check that, sometimes it's sour cream. <laughs> you know? What? Could be like a... Uh, a, a horseradish sauce or something for the beef. Okay. Come on, get in. Let's try a piece. Morgan, oh, you took a large grab, piece grab piece. Morgan a fork. I think we brought an extra one. Mm. Get on in there. I'm from the south. I know what pecan pie is all about. You don't know what this is about until you try it. <laughs> Come on in. Well, it's a good bourbon, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You might not like it, it's got bourbon in it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> not moonshine? <laughs> Morgan, Morgan Strong from my hometown, Vernon. Representing. He retired and moved on to West Virginia? Virginia. Virginia. That was delicious. You know what? He used to wear over up overalls and and uh and uh, and uh, farmer hats and stuff around Vernon and he became the oddity, right? Yeah. Because that, everything grew up around Vernon at that That's time. Right. It used to be all farmland. That's right. So now he moved down to Virginia and everywhere he goes they all dress the same. Right? <laughs> right. He beat out a good winner. He got he got out of here just in time. Yeah. Go ahead, Morgan, try another piece. You like it? Oh excellent. It's excellent. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. Thank you, Denise. Denise Joyner for giving me this beautiful recipe. I can't make enough of them. They fly out the fly out the door. I'm making them a couple times a week now. It's so easy, so simple, like you saw. Try it. And you know, I'm just starting to get into baking pies now. Before I just didn't like to bake, but a, an old uh, wise chef told me one time from Europe, from France, if you you're not a real chef until you can bake. 
So I think it's uh, important to learn a little bit about bread, a little bit about pies, desserts, pastries, cakes, you know. So that's what I'm trying to educate myself and you know that's the beauty about cooking. You can always learn something. Never know it all. Daddy Jack's good with the blues. Morgan Strong just walked in the door. A good friend came up to visit. Tommy Walters in the back. Rachel and Lucy, where'd y'all go? Okay. Eat, eat and run. Oh, we're over here. Bob Jack on camera. Hope y'all have a great happy Easter. Night day before Easter. Easter Sunday tomorrow, 2014. God bless.